there were certain people that I seen down there from Beyonce, Jay Z. Um, is anyone paying attention to the Ali Carter, this young lady who is making um, all of these allegations, uh, accusations about Diddy, the Diddy parties, and several other people. But her videos are confirming a lot of the things that people suspect about what's going on with the elite. Ali Carter has recently made significant claims implicating additional high-profile figures, including Jay-Z, in connection to the controversial allegations surrounding Diddy's private gatherings. According to Carter, these accusations are not limited to Diddy, but extend to other prominent celebrities, suggesting a network of individuals who may have had involvement in alleged misconduct within these exclusive circles. Carter asserts that Jay-Z, among others, was allegedly aware of, if not involved in, troubling activities reportedly occurring behind closed doors at industry parties, adding further complexity to the unfolding situations surrounding these gatherings and the behavior of elite figures in entertainment. I think Ellen and uh, I think she mentions Oprah and she mentioned, I mean, she just goes in and in is a heart-wrenching thing to watch. Uh, someone sent me a clip I had no idea, never even heard of this woman. And I wound up getting this clip and I, 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 I listened to the whole thing. It's probably like 22, 23 minutes of her sitting in a car. I believe her mother's next to her. And this young lady is, is in tears and expressing that she was, you know, a, um, a victim of abuse, child sex trafficking. She was in foster care and uh, was part of the whole Diddy sex trafficking, that whole thing underground literally underground. She mentioned there's tunnels. Courtney Burgess, a former associate of Diddy's late ex-partner, Kim Porter, recently testified to possessing flash drives containing recordings allegedly given to him by Porter herself. According to Burgess, these tapes contain troubling footage involving Diddy and eight other celebrities, with claims that some individuals appear under the influence and may include minors. He suggests Porter wanted these tapes made public before her 2018 death. The tapes reportedly expose disturbing events at Diddy's gatherings, raising questions about how much the entertainment industry knew and potentially ignored over the years regarding these high-profile figures. Out of those eight videos, eight celebrities, six men and two women, how many of those eight celebrities um, were, were close to being underage or potentially two. underage? Two males. Emails. And of those eight celebrities, how many of them were intoxicated um, or under the influence of drugs? Is it free? You can't see that right now. And when survivors actually walk away, it's hell. That's why they need an army. Because I know there's a lot of victims that are still in the life that have contacted me and can't decide whether or not to make a choice because how do they walk away? How are they gonna be okay? Are they gonna have people to stand with them? Are they gonna have people like you that are actually listening for those that are listening and that are here and that are ready to stand with the line of fire with warriors? An individual named Ali Carter has reportedly made claims about secretive gatherings and tunnels allegedly connected to the residences of high-profile individuals in Hollywood. Carter has also shared personal accounts describing how she was allegedly mistreated in this environment from a young age. Alison Carter has spoke out. Now, one thing you need to understand is Alison Carter is allegedly Tupac's daughter. In fact, she has come out big style, name dropped people, including Denzel Washington, and she's explained how there was tunnels underground going from different houses. In her words, she said, these parties weren't freak offs, they were satanic rituals. She claimed there wasn't just adults at these parties, there was also children. And one of the children was in fact her. 
she actually stated that back in 2020 she actually tried to come out about all this but she was quickly shut up and her claims and her evidence that she has were just ignored now this video is about 30 minutes long so if anybody wants to i will happily break it into part she further contends that there are others currently facing similar situations within the industry with her statements and the recent developments in diddy's case carter's allegations prompt questions about hidden networks in hollywood i pretended like nothing mattered that's why a lot of people call me traitor. It's my fault. I hate you. You just left me. I got out. I made a choice. And at one point I wasn't healed. I was, I was, I was just out. Freedom is not free. That's not what that means. Um, so when I got out, I was just out. And I didn't, I didn't, I was, I was on a whole other level of, it didn't matter. I didn't matter because I knew there was nothing I could do. It didn't matter because I knew this would happen. If I ever tried to tell, I knew nobody would hear me. Just it's the same way nobody tried to hear me when I was a child. The same way the authorities and the adults that were supposed to protect me, they did not. They were protected by- In her first public video, Carter claimed to have witnessed alarming events at Diddy's exclusive all-black themed parties. These gatherings are rumored to be highly secretive and selective, leading some to believe that problematic activities could be concealed from the public. Carter's description has fueled speculation about what might occur behind closed doors at these exclusive gatherings. If more people like Carter come forward, could this lead to greater transparency regarding celebrity events? Are you traffic too? Yeah. What about uh, them? Huh? What about them? They weren't black, they were white. So when you say you went to an all black party, does that mean they all wore black clothes or was no, it black there was race? A, there was all black girls and black boys. And what about black girls and black boys to be trafficked? Yeah. What about the guests? They're were, were they all black as well? No. So it was all black party just regarding the, children to be trafficked? Product, yeah. Okay. And you met her there a second time? Yeah. And then what happened? Um, I had, I was told it was a swinger audition and a orgy party. Um, and the youngest that was at the orgy party was nine years old. Um, an individual named Ariel tweeted in support of Ali Carter's assertion, stating, Ali Carter was right when she said these musical artists use their songs as their diary, and they tell us what they are doing. This is why Jay-Z and other artists have been involved in the campaign to limit the use of rap lyrics as evidence in criminal trials. Carter has explicitly named Jay-Z as a central figure in Diddy's gatherings. By including Jay-Z in her allegations, Carter has implicated one of hip-hop's most influential figures, adding gravity to her claims. The involvement of high-profile names in such discussions could amplify public pressure for investigation, especially if more witnesses corroborate her account. Will such allegations lead to closer scrutiny of hip-hop moguls and their private gatherings? Something happened. I don't know what happened. I was down there for a while. Um, there's certain people that you don't talk about uh, because you just don't. Um, there were certain people that I seen down there from Beyonce, Jay-Z. Um, <laughs> uh, you don't tell on P. Diddy. Ally Carter has expanded on her claims regarding mistreatment and the participation of many big names at Diddy's events. She alleges that various forms of exploitation took place, suggesting that more individuals in Hollywood may be suffering from similar circumstances. Under uh, your, your amusement parks, through Universal Studios and into Hollywood elite homes um, all over the place, all over the world. And people don't understand that and they can't fathom that and they can't put that together. But if you think about the things that have come out, that have can't, can't, excuse me, come out lately and there's 200 children missing and there's 300 children missing, what, what Amber Alert did you receive? How many times do you receive an Amber Alert every, every year? 
tortured. And if you think about that, how many children are coming up in your face that have been tortured and abused like this? It exists and it's real. And people don't want to face it. It happens in your schools, your schools every day as your grave diggers, your trash men. Everybody is involved, but everybody is looking at the top and that's just a small percentage. And you really need to look at the people in between. So the names that you just mentioned, have you had personal sexual experiences with these people? Yes. These people participated in sex abuse firsthand with you? Yes. Can you tell that story? Because that's important for people to understand and, and to know. And to this point, I don't think Singer Jaguar Wright has publicly supported Ali Carter's allegations, adding her own criticisms of Jay-Z and Beyonce. And that was all funded by Sean Carter to make sure that Robert Kelly went to jail. Get his lick back. Why is nobody understanding that Dream Hampton was being financed and ran by Sean Carter? They were able to go and get all of these witnesses because he was there with Robert Kelly. How does Jay-Z sit down with Gail King and she not ask him one question about the intersection between him and Aaliyah and Robert Kelly? This is insane that people keep refusing to see what's right there. Do if the think Me Too movement were real, why aren't they speaking now? They've also been very quiet in this time of the Diddler's downfall. Jaguar. Guess they're on vacation. If this goes to court, Jaguar, do you think the, the world is going to be shocked by what comes out? Oh, absolutely. I just don't know why they are. It's been happening in front of everyone's faces for decades. Wright's statements, including her characterization of the couple as problematic, add weight to Carter's claims and have raised eyebrows among the public. For decades. How many victims? What's the difference between me and Judy Garland? Social media. How, how many victims? There was none for her. How, hmm? many, how many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands, thousands. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. In recent allegations, questions have been raised about Jay-Z's Sean Carter connection with R. Kelly. Some sources suggest that Beyonce was positioned to support Jay-Z's ventures, allegedly to benefit from her involvement. He was, she was chosen for him in order to help him get where he needed to go. So she's the muse, but let's use this in a different way. Sometimes we use the word muse in the terms of profiteering off of it. He's very aware of entertainers, male and female, where he needs to go to keep his money coming in and what he's actually selling. Now this connects him to R. Kelly, high level pimping and pandering for the music industry through the trafficking, my camera cut off when I said trafficking, through the trafficking of human beings, okay? So I'm going to put that out there in that fashion. You, we, you, me, them, we are going to start seeing through the veil when it comes to Jay-Z and within three years, public favor is removed. Now he's not the first one to go down behind P. Diddy, but he's a close second. So it's a combination that's coming after him. And when they take him down, they're going to take Beyonce down behind him. And it's going to start crumbling, okay? So it's the next three years. On an energy level, what this is, is it is, understand, when you do um, a cult is high level, these claims touch on wider issues regarding partnerships in the music industry and how relationships may intertwine with business interests. What might the revelations mean for public trust in such partnerships? And Jay-Z is a high-level occultist, as is Beyonce. When you're involved in high-level entity conjuring, which they are, when you're involved in that kind of high-level type of giving yourself over to those energies, you are not really in control of what happens after a certain point. Like no matter what anybody says, 
no matter how big and strong and special they think they are, when you let something into your body and you think you can control it, that's because they let you think that you can control it. Ally Carter has also alleged that ritualistic practices took place at some of Diddy's gatherings. This narrative, while sensational, aligns with long-standing rumors and conspiracies surrounding Hollywood. Yes, there was there were there were shrines used for rituals. There's there's bloody places, there's um there's parts where there's uh limbs, uh people cut off limbs and want you to have sex in it. There's blood, there's blood that I don't even know who it belongs to. Um, there's a lot. So, um, so hang on. So, so someone like the people that you've named are here at these shrines where there is human flesh, bones, human body parts, and they want people to participate in orgies in amongst all of this human blood is that a satanic ritual feces is this a satanic ritual that they are participating in yes um yes there's people who want to there's down there there's people who have sex with animals um dead animals animals um i was i was taken um and told that I had to give a blowjob to uh, Biden. Um, so Joe Biden was there at this shrine. Mm -hmm. Carter claims she was introduced to Diddy's parties while still very young, allegedly surviving mistreatment in these settings before escaping. Her story is unsettling, highlighting the risks of exploitation for young people in celebrity circles. Carter's allegations have prompted a public call to protect minors and vulnerable individuals in these settings. Could her story lead to increased legal protections for youth in the entertainment industry? Diddy parties. Um, those are those are assault parties. And I was one of the kids that was one of the party favors. And a party favors means that you're set on top of a table and you're used as a toy for anybody who comes across the table or who wants to party at a certain time of night when the music stops and then the DJ starts flashing all these lights and they close the doors and then everybody turns into like a frenzy and starts going into a crazed animal-like demonic state and you have no idea what's going on and yes there was a time where I was just like completely don't give a shit because it happened and I was the type of kid that thought that you know you're in the presence of royalty and they make it seem like you're in the presence of Hollywood so you should be you should be honored and you should be appreciating that you're there and I was that person I totally acted like that I was like oh it's fine you know it really doesn't matter following Diddy's arrest Jaguar Wright has pointed fingers at other celebrities she believes should be held accountable with Jay-Z among those mentioned Wright has demanded further charges claiming that some high-profile figures have escaped scrutiny definitely be charged uh, should I keep going I mean, you're hitting it on. <laughs> Jay-Z should be charged. Khaled should be charged. Rick Roth should be charged. Usher should be charged and tried with him. Off of Justin Bieber alone. Now, Carisha and Rick Ross just sat down together. In an interview. Yeah, I don't know. Two Diddy do our bops. What a reunion. Do you feel the federal government will probably speak to Jay-Z in regards? They already have. Oh. They talked to him before he made that Super Bowl announcement. Isn't that interesting? He was questioned by the feds before he made the Super Bowl announcement. Blink twice. Diddy has been a vocal supporter of Jay-Z, especially during key moments in their careers. Their public friendship is well known, yet recent allegations have cast this relationship in a different light. 
Who was he hanging out with the most in the last few years? They were doing photo shoots together and everything. Did he, right? Brunch. Yeah. Okay. So birds of a feather flock Why together, right? Wow. So he he not far behind. And if if he if Jay Z was hanging out with Puff like this, and you saying Puff was this nigga, what what type of uh, nigga is Jay Z to be hanging out? With a nigga like that. It was called Black Excellence, man. I remember that. It was called the Black Excellence. The They're Black French. Excellence crew is a, a cold word for allegedly cold word for the secret gay niggas and women in the industry that's rich. That's the Black Excellence mean to me. You know what I mean? Because the motherfuckers, they, they, they more Black Excellent than me. I'm Black Excellence. I stand on integrity. You know what I'm saying? I ain't selling my soul. I ain't gonna do shit that, that I'm not, uh, that's gonna make me feel less than when I look in the mirror years later. Them niggas ain't black excellence. Them niggas is frauds. They hiding behind their money. They hiding behind these images. The PPD podcast recently discussed rumors that Jay-Z may face similar legal issues as Diddy. There's now some rumors circulating, and you can shut it down the second I say it, that right. there was a tie with, Jay-Z had some stuff to do with Diddy, and they're kind of both being, you know, I mean, uh, aligned and quiet about it. They're in a lot of pictures together. So, yeah. The reason yeah. why I pivoted because the gray area thing. Yeah. I don't play those games at all. So whatever was going on, I just never even engaged, indulged, or anything. Not even looked the other way. Doesn't look at all. I just left. Have, so you has, don't see me in none of them pictures. Has the, has the Fed at all reached out to you for information or no? I haven't been around him like that. I'm not around him like that. Just because we black don't mean shit. No, that's not it. But you guys were partners. Like no, that's we, a part. Oh, me and Jay? At one point. Oh, why would they reach out to me for what? I don't know if they, they want to say, hey, is there anything you want to talk to us about, you know, with what happened? They've never reached out to you. Nah, nah. They're reaching out to a lot of weird people right now. Yeah, I'm not weird. Okay. <laughs> They're not going to talk right. to me. I'm not weird. All right. So so let me let me ask this other question. Well, maybe within this context. I this hope is... they don't either. They better not come out. This speculation, fueled by growing discussions and fan theories, hints at potential legal ramifications for Jay-Z if investigations expand. Could the unfolding events around Diddy's case act as a precursor for a similar reckoning for other top tier figures in the music industry? Um, to go off of this Diddy thing, I see people going after Jay-Z now. Yeah, I know we talked about this every time before we shoot pre-shooting. Guys, like he's always on my ass, tells me, Yo, you gotta get facts, you can't be spewing shit. Mm -hmm. But I gotta tell you one thing, I swear to God I saw okay. this video, and there's this white girl, she's like, a, like, I don't know if you saw her too, but she's like a, like a psychic, and a couple years ago, she predicted all this Diddy shit. And now this bitch predicts that by 2026, it'll be Jay-Z's turn. 2026, Jay-Z's turn. I got, got 99, 99 problems, problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got That's it for today's video. Stay tuned until next time.